Hi, this is Eric Anderton. There are over 670,000 construction companies in the United States. So you don't need me to tell you that competition is extremely fierce. I'd like to give you a simple tip to set yourself apart from the vast majority of the people that you compete against day after day. Now, that simple tip is this, a thank you card. <laughs> when was the last time you received a handwritten thank you card from someone? When was the last time you wrote a handwritten thank you card? Thank you cards that are handwritten are extremely powerful because everyone these days communicates by text or email, but a handwritten thank you card is unique. So when should you write a handwritten thank you card? You should write one when someone does something that is worthy of thanks. Who should you write a thank you card to? Well, there's three um, people or types of people that you can write a thank you card to. Number one are clients or potential clients. Number two are project partners, such as imagine a superintendent who's done a good job on a uh, project. You can write that person a thank you card or even a foreman. When was the last time you think a foreman or a project manager received a handwritten thank you card? And then the last type of people you can write it to are your employees. As a construction leader, you should be thanking your employees every time they do a good job for you. Now, you may not always write them a thank you card, but you should practice one or two thank you cards to employees, perhaps every week or every other week. And why should you write thank you cards? There's one simple reason. They make you memorable and they make people feel good. So again, if you want to set yourself apart from the 670,000 construction companies in the United States, practice writing thank you cards. My name is Eric Anderton. Hope you found this video helpful.